This year's fifth third bike the drive is coming up this weekend. In today's Chicago scene, we're getting ready with the ABC bike check. So joining us now is Claire McDermott. She's from the Active Transportation Alliance. And Eric Smith is with Fifth Third Bank. You see we have the bike here, so we're going to give you some tune-up tips. But first, let's just talk about the event and how exciting the event is. And I know you guys are real happy about sponsoring. Yes, we're, Fifth Third Bank is proud to be a sponsor of this event. As uh, our viewers probably know, we recently merged with MB Financial. And MB had been a proud sponsor of uh, Bike the Drive since 2009. So this is a way that we believe that we can give back and continue to support our communities and a wonderful way to support our partners at Active uh, Trans uh, Transportation Alliance. Wonderful. So you're picking up the reins. And let's talk about where the money goes because it's always a fun event, but it also is an event that helps people. Yes, so the Active Transportation Alliance is an advocacy organization and we work to improve infrastructure for people in Chicagoland to be able to ride their bike, walk, or use public transit. Oh, which is uh, so wonderful. And so many people do now, which is great. But in the beginning of the season, it really is tough sometimes. I mean, I take my bike down, I'm like, oh no, the tires. The <laughs> so let's talk about what we should look at first to make sure our bike is in tip-top shape for this weekend. Perfect. So we always say the best route is to do the ABC check. So A, stands for air, so you'll want to just give the tire a feel. It should feel kind of like a firm basketball. Um, B stands for brakes, so you'll want to just um, check that both your brakes are working properly. And then C is for chain, so you'll want to just make sure that you give the pedal a spin and that your chain is moving freely and does not get caught on anything. Right, and if we need to put a little grease on it or something from sitting in the garage over the winter, because the winter was really long, was long. this year. Very it's long. Are, are, are you a cyclist? Too? <laughs> I am. Okay. I'm looking forward to the race. <laughs> yeah. oh, wonderful. I, I've seen all the bikers out, you know, sort of a, along the drive uh, yeah. already. Yeah. But this yeah. is really unique because the drive is closed. I mean, you yeah. own the road on this day. Yes, it's the one day a year that the entire length of Lakeshore Drive in both directions is closed to car traffic and just open to the bikes. And I think the other unique thing is that the start times are pretty much Very whenever flexible. you want to start yeah. in, within the realm of it. It's not like a race that starts at 8 a.m. You can start as early as 5.30 in the morning. Yes, you can start as early as 5.30. We recommend starting no later than 7 a.m. to get the most time out on Lakeshore Drive. But yes, people can be a little bit flexible there. And it's such a beautiful drive. I mean, it's just to look out over the lake, to look yes. at the city when you're biking down. And then you bike to an amazing party. Yes, right? we, so yes. Talk about that. Yes, we have a great festival that happens down in Butler Field after the ride. So people can come down, they can enjoy a pancake breakfast, we have a live band, we'll have a beer garden by Revolution Brewing, um, fun activities for the kids. Fifth Third is going to be bringing um, an inflatable fun zone. So, And that's also open to the public, so even if people don't do the ride, but they want to come down and hang out at the fest, it's open. Oh, that seems unfair, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> It'll make the party better. Yeah. Are there still spots for people to sign up? Because I know it does get really crowded it out there. Yes, um, there are still spots available, but we definitely recommend, you know, registering. We are tracking ahead of where we were last year. Last year was our biggest ride in history. So we definitely are looking like it could be a sellout year, so we recommend to sign up. Um, typically, there are spots available on the day of the ride, but as I said, we have good registration numbers, so sign up soon. And if you don't have a bike, folks, I know we told you how to, how to you know, kind of get your bike in shape here. You can actually rent a bike there, which I think is also amazing. Yes. It's such a great event. Well, thank you so much for coming in and thank telling you. us all about it again. And remember, Reminding people to get involved. The fifth third bike the drive is May 26th. Remember, we're we have that festival afterwards at Butler Field. For more information, visit 53bikethedrive.org. And then we'll also have a link on our webpage at wgntv.com/midday.